This is how to map the left mouse click button to a key on the keyboard and using auto hotkey for Windows. Why? Sometimes your hand can get really carpal tunnel-y while you're clicking all day. So this is a way to give that finger a rest. So how do you do this? You go to autohotkey.com right up here. I'll have the link in the description. Download that current version and then do the basics run it, install it. Then, once that's installed, it's simple. We go to Notepad, and for my example, we're gonna use the Shift key and make it act like the left mouse click button. So, type Shift, two colons, L button. L button stands for left button on the mouse. I'm gonna save it, let's call it mouse click, dot a h k save it now now what we do is um we're gonna go into i saved in the desktop we're gonna right click it and you should see that the icon is different than a regular text document i'm gonna run the script and now that i run the script i'm going to press the shift button shift button shift can you hear that and it works. Now, if you want to turn it off, you'd, you'd go down to your um, taskbar and you go to this green H and you would click exit or suspend hotkey if you want to change it to a different button. So, in my case, we'll just exit and back to the normal clicking. Cool. Now, if you want to switch the shift to a different key, how you would do it is you, you would search auto hotkey, open it up, and it would open up its help. And then we'd go to usage syntax on the left side, go to list of keys. Then there'll be a bunch of information on the keys on the keypad. And then you would just type that in instead of shift. Okay. All right, that's how you do it.